When television first came out, you really only had three options. Then there were four and PBS, and then cable came along. Fast forward to today, and we have more than 200 streaming services and more than 3,000 channels. There's more demand for content than content available. Professor Christopher Terry studies media law and business at the University of Minnesota. He's not surprised by Amazon's move to buy up MGM, an iconic company that owns the rights to the James Bond franchise, Rocky, Robocop, and more than 4,000 other movies and 17,000 shows that will all be added to Amazon Prime's growing inventory of content. What content you have, is how valuable your streaming service is to consumers. As all of these streaming sources compete against each other for what content they're going to control, you're going to see some big deals over licensing of content. That's It's going to be the next big battlefield. A battlefield filled with bold moves, like Amazon's new Lord of the Rings show that, according to The Hollywood Reporter, cost Amazon upwards of $465 million for just one season, making it the most expensive TV show in history, more than four times as expensive as HBO's Game of Thrones. A long time ago, a television series had a limited value. Right? It could only be run so many times before it was it essentially used up. Streaming has sort of changed that that model that content has value beyond its sort of initial run. Terry expects to see even more big deals in the coming years as streaming services fight for position. According to a recent study by Ampere Analysis, the average American household subscribes to four different streaming services. With more than 200 out there, Terry says most won't survive. You have so many streaming services and only so many people at some point. Some of them aren't going to have content that attracts different subscribers, and you're going to want to merge those properties. Will we see cheaper prices? I mean, that's something that you typically think of with businesses is more competition will lower the prices. Do you foresee that at all? Well, one would hope that that would be the case, but I suspect what companies are paying to produce this content is going to lead the prices to actually to continue to go up sort of market wide. Content is very expensive. It's one reason why there isn't more of it produced. It's actually quite expensive to make content for a streaming service. He says this is one reason why so many popular shows and movies are getting reboots. They're cheaper to make and there's a loyal fan base already built in. It's why companies like MGM are becoming so valuable with fan favorite franchises like James Bond that can be remade over and over and over again. At some point, though, there's going to be a programming saturation. I don't know how anyone could even keep up on all the shows that are being produced that people tell me are good in a week. So we're, we're approaching that, but we're not quite there yet. I'm with Professor Terry. For as many times as people here tell me what shows to watch, I, I just have to write them down. There's just so many out there. Now, as far as this deal goes, it is not a done deal. Government regulators still have to approve Amazon's bid for MGM. And Professor Terry is expecting to see a lot of pushback from Amazon's competitors because a deal like this could just open those floodgates for all other big deals that could shake up streaming even more than it's already shaking right now. All right.